Greetings, Alex again. It's going to be a real lo-fi video, just handheld shaky cam here. And I had a stupid power adapter ruin my evening. I'm going to explain that a little bit. But I thought while I was tearing the stupid thing apart to see what was going on with it, I would just record the whole thing and put it up just for kicks and giggles, I guess. The whole thing shot on shaky cam, so sorry about that. And when I'm doing the reverse engineering, I'm pretty mumbly because I'm annoyed. But regardless, here you go. So right here is the stupid power supply that started this. Of course, I didn't know that at the time. All I knew was that I had this stupid buzz that was bleeding into my recordings and now coming out of my monitors. So I messed around with like different shielded cables and ground loop isolators and uh, ground lifts and all that kind of stuff. I double checked my uh, gain clone that I used to power the monitors with these super safe power supply right here. And even though this looks a little bit sketchy and free wired, it's been rock solid for like six years or something. Usually these are the kind of things that tr uh, cause those kinds of problems with recordings. So I checked all my CCFL and LCD bulbs and that didn't work. So when I was rifling through my old cable bins here uh, in search of like uh, other solutions and better quality cables, uh, you have cable bins, right? I have dozens of them because you never know when you're going to need an old SCSI adapter or one of these like super ancient oscilloscope patch cord screw things. But anyways, while I was doing that, I decided to move this little power adapter to a different plug and that happened to be plugged into my full spectrum light that I have under my workbench and then all of a sudden the hum went away. Hum. No hum. So it came down to the dumb power supply that ran this LCD thing, which I was like, oh great, it's probably just some dumb cheapy switching supply. Did a little Googling and I found out that it's from like a Nikru aquarium LED lighting fixture. I had no idea what this was. I dumpster dived it. So, you know, whatever. I just figured it has a crap ton of LEDs in there and it'd be nice to have. But it turns out it's a fish tank light. Who knew? And apparently people pay like 50 freaking bucks for these things. 50 bucks. I mean, it's just an LCD panel with like a little bracket on it. But anyway, I guess people just love their fish. I did some more blind Google searching and apparently like, hey, this very familiar looking adapter was causing somebody else some buzzing as well. So, all right, this is it. I'm going to tear it apart. I'm going to show you how these circuits work. Just kind of like do a quick reverse engineer, not like an exact reverse engineer. And then we'll go from there. So I'm not sure how this thing opens. It's super duper light. So there's probably no shielding. Worst case scenario, I could chisel it open, but uh, I'm just going to grab a couple of different implements here and see what's going to happen. But I could probably just pop it open with a screwdriver. I'm pretty sure. So let's try that first. This is my wood handle. Please don't electrocute me, bro. Screwdriver and success. It was just snapped shut. It wasn't even like glued or anything like that and the board pops right out. Sure enough, no shielding. So I beeped out the wires first to figure out which pole was positive and which one was negative to start sketching out a schematic. Turns out the blue is the ground, question mark. So whatever. Now, oopsie, oopsie, I forgot to hit record when I was tugging on the components with a pair of pliers, but someone just like pulled off. Like you see these holes right here? This is where I gave a little tug to the components and they just kind of like fell off. They were definitely cold solder joints all throughout this thing. And you can see right here, like even components that I didn't touch, this was probably cold from the factory. Uh, this was one of the little filter circuits, so that explains some of the noise. I don't know why that was back feeding. And then when I went to tug on the capacitors, one of the leads just kind of fell off, so I'm not sure that was actually doing anything anyway. So let me clean off my whiteboard, aka computer desk, and let's draw up a sketch of like generally how these crappy uh, switch mode supplies work. So coming in from the wall, I'm going to draw an ugly diode bridge here. Ideally, um, this side should have a fuse on it, but I saw no fuse on the board, so I'm fairly certain there's no fusing going on here. And then out of this, you're probably going to have your, um, your bulk filter capacitance, and then that will run out to both... Um, the primary side of the transformer and you'll have your little um, parallel circuit here with the diode and that's going to feed your IC some information. Um, let me see what next. Well this side's just going to feed your IC as well or your IC will feed it or blah 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 whatever. 
Uh, on the secondary side, this is probably what this diode right here is. And it looks like it runs Yeah, that's what it looks like. And actually, it looks like it is tied directly to the output, so that means we probably don't have a PI filter at the output, which makes sense because we only have one capacitor here, so it's probably just crappy, crappy bulk capacitance. Um, anyway, so this side, yeah, if we say, I think it's safe to say we don't have a PI filter, so we probably just have a big capacitor here. That's that junky one that I pulled off. Um, then we're going to probably come off of our, if that's our plus and it's our minus, come off of our plus and that will feed, oh, running out of lead. We have, probably have a limiting resistor and then our, um, our zener right here is what's going to set the voltage to our LED, which of course is the other side of our LDR. Right here, that's supposed to be a transistor. Sorry, it's ugly. And then that's going to be, oops, that's going to be fed back into our IC to regulate the voltage. And that's it. So, I mean, like I said, ideally there should be fusing here, probably more smoothing up front. The control circuit is whatever. That all depends on the performance of the IC. Um, you might want to shield that, but whatever. Usually they don't. They'll just shield the enclosure. This enclosure was not shielded at all. And then coming out of here, I mean, ideally we should have at least a... At least... Oops, I totally drew that off camera. A PI filter or PI filter or whatever. But we don't, we don't have any of this. We just have that one bulk capacitor that's feeding it out. So anyway, good times. All right, hope that was fun. Thanks for checking it out. Catch you in the next video.